Hello! Today, we're going to do something a little different. You know, in the future, when we're on the road in about four months, we're going to show you a lot of behind the scenes of us on the road. So when we're shooting our documentary, we're going to be on the RV, we're going to be able to get off and show you scenes, and you're going to be able to have a lot of things to look at and a lot of fun things to grab a hold of. But for now, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about our consumption. And we are guilty, especially in our house, of Amazon and Amazon packages coming to our house every day. Especially during this pandemic in Los Angeles, all of our stores were closed. We were on lockdown. It became a habit to go through Amazon every day. It's fast, it's easy, it's efficient, it's cheap. So I wanted to talk about our waste and how to reduce it. And first we're starting in our household because when you start with change, you start within and you start with your household. So for us especially, we're going to start with soaps because we buy about eight to ten different soaps a month. You know, Rich has a shampoo, I have a shampoo and conditioner, Brixen has a shampoo, the dog has a shampoo, there's dish soap, there's laundry soap. Every single month, between eight and ten containers come to our house and then when they're done, a new one shows up at our door and that is just constant waste into our landfill. So today I want to talk about soaps and how we can make a bunch of these soaps using one soap using Castile soap. And if you don't know what this is, Castile soap, you need to look it up because this shit is badass. This has been around since the 11th century, so people knew about this a long time ago. You also need a carrier oil. You can use an extra virgin olive oil, an avocado oil, or an almond oil, which is what I'm going to use. Um, also essential oils, and really that's just for scent. You know, if you like a nice mint or lemon or orange or whatever you prefer, I'm going to use some essential oils, but not necessary. You don't have to do that. Out of all the plastic ever made in this country, in the United States, out of all the plastic, 90% of it is still sitting in our landfill, which means only 10% has been recycled. Only 10%. The rest is sitting in a landfill. And do you know how long it takes for that plastic to break down? 450 years. So let's think about that. Every time we order plastic, every time something comes in, we think about that. Again, we're going to start in our house and we're going to reduce our waste. So we're going to make all of our soaps with this one, Castile soap. Am I saying that right? Castile. Put in the comments if I'm saying that right because I have no idea what I'm talking about. Again, I'm experimenting. This is a first time thing for me and I'm just hoping to inspire other people. But do your research. Do what's right for you. I'm doing what's right for our household. In one year, in the United States, Americans throw away 550 million shampoo bottles. 550 million shampoo bottles in one year in just the United States. Now, I don't only want to reduce our waste, I want to reduce our chemical intake. Because every time you use a shampoo, a lotion, anything that goes on your body, it soaks into your skin and it goes into your bloodstream and it stays there. It's chemicals. So, especially in our house, I like to be as natural as possible. And so this is also a better alternative to all of those chemicals. This, again, is vegetable-based, non-toxic, has no chemicals, which is great for our bodies. Not only to clean our bodies, shampoo, body wash, dog soap, all of that, but you can also, this is a cleaning product. So you can clean all of your stuff in your house with this. And we're going to do a video later on the cleaning products. But today's just going to be the shampoo. Now, to help me make these products, I'm going to call out my assistant, Brixton. Yay! Hello! Hello! Good to see you! Yeah. <laughs> all right, are you ready to make some soaps? Yeah! Okay, say hi to all our fans out there. Very bold! <laughs> okay, the first soap we're going to make is Brixton's shampoo. Okay? so. Brixton labeled all of these, which is, yeah. they're fantastic, see? This one says Brixton Shampoo. Now all of these bottles I got on Amazon. Fucking Amazon. <laughs> um, they are all BPA free. Basically it means every time you drink or eat something out of plastic, you're basically eating and drinking particles of plastic. So if you can get something that's BPA free, that's preferable. So we got a bunch of these. I would prefer glass, but since we're gonna be traveling, we're going to do the plastic because I don't know what it's going to be like on an RV and I just feel like this is safer for us. But do what you want to do. So first, Brixton shampoo. Okay? First, we're going to take the Castile soap. We want to do one-fourth cup. So we're going to fill this up one-fourth of the way. Okay? Okay. So take that and fill it up one-fourth of the way. Yeah. Okay? Now see this little spout over here? You're going to take that spout and we're going to do it right inside there. Really slow. 
Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now next, I want you to pick out a scent that you're gonna love. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna get some water. Hmm, so we have cedarwood, rosemary, eucalyptus, sweet orange, tea tree, peppermint, lavender, lemongrass, lemon. Okay, so what do you, when you're putting on your shampoo, what do you want to smell like? Well, I like to eat oranges, so let's do sweet orange. Sweet orange. Brixton always picks sweet orange. He loves it. Fun fact about sweet orange essential oils, it's very calming. It's good for depression. It makes you feel light and airy and kind of just it makes you feel good. I think that's why he always picks this one. So we're yeah, going to put about it. <laughs> So we're going to put about 10 drops in here. So open that up. Okay. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Perfect. Now put the top back on. Now we're going to put 1 fourth cup of water. And this is all. This is all you need. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to put this on. Smell it. <laughs> smells good. Yeah, it does. It smells like orange soda. <laughs> so you're gonna put orange soda on your head. See how easy that is? And then all you need to buy is this forever to have all of these things. Okay. Yeah, and this lasts so so long. Yeah, we barely used any of it. Okay, yeah. so up next, we're gonna do some body wash. We all need body wash. Get rid of that soap that has all the chemicals in it. This we can all use. We can do one body wash that me, you, and Daddy can all use, squirt it into our hands, put it on our body, it's like a soap, right? Yeah. So let's open that up and get it down here. We're gonna do one third cup this time of the okay. castile soap, okay? Now, we're gonna dump it in here. I'm just gonna do it so that, not that I'm any better than you are, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna use honey with the castile soap for this, with the body wash. So a honey, a raw honey, would be the best. So we're gonna do one third cup of raw honey. Okay. And make sure you can like pour it out. Too. Yeah, it's gonna be sticky. But mixed with that Castile soap and mixed with the water, it's not gonna be sticky. And honey is so good for your skin. It's a moisturizer, it's natural. Especially if you get like a raw, organic honey. Okay, that's probably good. Okay. Now I don't, this is all experimental, so let's see how this goes in here. Yep. It's nice and We've thick. We've actually oh! never tried this before. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you should use like a funnel or something that would probably be smarter for the honey instead of these giant measuring cups. And you said you were better than me. Yeah. So now, pick out a scent, an essential oil that we can use on our bodies. Okay? Mm. I mean, you so, can choose this time since I chose last time. Okay. Let's do... Hmm. Lavender. No, wait. You want to do lavender? Yes. That's a good idea. Let's do lavender. Lavender is also a nice, calming, great smelling oil. So we're going to do about 10 drops in there. See? It's calming. Okay. Put the top back on. And so, for the body wash, we just mix the Castile soap and honey and some essential oils. Now we gotta like mix it all up, mix it all oh wow. <laughs> yeah, we made a little mess with the honey, but that's okay, we'll clean it up later. We're just sort of experimenting over here. Okay, so now we have our nice body wash that our whole family can use in the shower. Okay, next up, we're gonna do dog shampoo. Half a cup of the Castile soap. Half okay. a cup. Half a cup. Dog shampoo because we want our dogs to be healthy too. You know, they don't need chemicals either. You so said dogs. We only have one dog. Well, other people have dogs. And two cats. <laughs> you probably also use the same cats, but I don't know. I didn't look that up. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Perish. Okay, you know what we should do? <laughs> be smart and put a towel down. Mm. Okay. I know. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Castile soap coming in. <laughs> okay, now we need water. We're going to do a cup of water. Go ahead and pour that in. Nice. He's a better pourer than I am. What did you say earlier? What? That I was bad at pouring stuff. No, it's great. You're doing great. Maybe I am. 
Okay, for the dog shampoo, we want to do some um, baking soda. So we all have this at home. It costs like 75 cents or something, and this has so many healing properties. It's an amazing, amazing product. Go buy it! Go buy it! Okay, so we're going to do three tablespoons of this. Now this, it, <laughs> this is a solid, so it's going to be a little tricky. Tricky. Again, you should probably use like a funnel. The last thing in the dog soap we're going to put is some lavender oil. Do you want to pick the lavender oil out? Hmm. Which one? This one. We're doing lavender oil into the dog soap because lavender oil um, deters fleas. It de what? Detracts? Is that the word? Is that the word? <sighs> it's a flea deterrent. <laughs> so fleas don't like lavender oil. Next. We're going to do some hand soap, and especially during this time in this pandemic, I feel like everyone's putting way too much chemicals onto their hands. All of the soaps and the sanitizers, again, those chemicals go straight into our bloodstream and they stay there and it's not good for you. So this is an alternative to hand soap for people, and this has uh, antibacterial fighting ingredients, and this is all you will need. So we're going to do the Castile soap, half a cup, and then you're going to carefully put that in there. You need to go higher to get it the right angle in there, just like that. Now we're going to do a half a cup of water. It's satisfying. It's satisfying. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do uh, almond oil as our carrier oil, but you can also do an extra virgin olive oil or a avocado oil, but we're going to use an almond. So we're going to do two tablespoons of this and put that in there. You want to do that? Nice. Do it fast. Do it fast, so that stream goes right in. Yep. Now that one. Another one. Okay. And if you kind of do it fast, there you go. Oh, that was good. That was good. Okay. Woo! Now we're going to do tea tree oil, because tea tree oil is an antibacterial. So you want that in your mm. hand soap to kill all the germs. So put tea ten, tree. 10 drops in there. Okay. In the meantime, we'll put lavender. So we're going to put tea tree and lavender. They are both antibacterials that kill germs. Hello. Ten drops of lavender. Okay. That's enough. I was coming. Oh. This seemed very fast. Sorry. Okay, ready? Now we're going to do smell the tea tree. You like that? Mm. I don't like it. Yeah, not oh. really. It, it has, like, a very strong scent. Very no. strong. Very strong. This tea tree. But this this stuff, magic tea tree oil. I like Heals the lavender. So though. many things. Okay, now we're gonna give it a good mix. And that is our hand soap. Put your go back a little. I'm gonna wash your hands. With our with our new hand soap. Okay. Maybe. So what we're gonna do. If I figure out how to open this thing. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Two hours later. Okay, we're just gonna open it up, put a little on your hands. Okay. And then we're gonna put a little water on your hands, okay? Here's a little water. Now wash them up. Wash them nice. Nice. How does it smell? My hands smell like tea tree now. <laughs> well, they're clean. You have no germs, right? Yeah. I'm gonna wash them too. We're Ooh, crazy. That's a nice, that's a nice lather. Look at that. Look at that lather. Wow. Look at that. Look at that lather we got going there. Yeah. Nice. We just made some freaking hand soap. Look at us being all eco-friendly, not with the plastic. That's not good. <laughs> That's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope we inspired some people to reduce our waste a little bit. You know, all you need is this one bottle and some other random ingredients, random. some essential oils, and you can make all of these soaps and more. But that's it for today. We'll do another show later, another episode later, another what? Make sure to follow our journey. Make sure to subscribe so we can make more of these shows. And no, it's not a show. No. Nope. <laughs> it's not a okay. show. You ready? <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow our journey. Subscribe if you haven't liked, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Peace.